Kittens, it's Konika, and today I'm going to be playing a video game for you guys. It's a game I've always wanted to try, and it's called Sylvanian Families The Fairyland Pendant, based off the Sylvanian Families toy line, or Calico Critters if you live in the US. I am a huge fan of Sylvanian Families dolls, I always have been, and I've always wanted to play this game, but it was only ever released in Japan for the Game Boy Color but a lovely peep online made an English patch for it, so I decided to try it out. Another thing I'd like to quickly mention before we start the game is you may have noticed my new video intro. This was made by a lovely peep who goes by Star Animations. If you want to check out more from her, you can find her link in the description below, so please go check her out. It's a really lovely intro and I'm so, so happy with it. It just gives off that right impression of cuteness and singing kawaii it just, it just gives off the perfect impression of, of what it is I do, and I really like it, and I hope you guys like it too. So, without further ado, let's play Sylvanian Families The Fairyland Pendant! Oh, I want a new game. In all your journeys, have you seen the land beyond the mountains green? Oh, I've got to continue. <laughs> Go where the trees hide sun and sky. Follow your heart and you will find- Considering this is a fan translation, this isn't bad. Sylvania Village. <laughs> a world of dreams, the woods obscure, where kindness lives and love endures. It's impressive that they managed to keep the rhyming in. Oh. So if you're lonely, listen clear. <laughs> The wind tells stories far and near. <laughs> Once upon a time in Sylvania, there lived a little girl. Her name was Aster Dandelion. One day, Aster and her mother went out for a picnic, deep in the forest, wrapped in the warm glow of spring. The scent of flowers wafted with the gentle breeze. What a wonderful smell, Aster thought. That's my Aster voice. <laughs> I wonder what flower that could be. Aster wandered off from her mother, oh wow, this is gonna go great, isn't it? And went even deeper into the forest, and then goblins jumped out! No. <laughs> Curious as to where the scent was coming from. The sights and smells of the forest grew unfamiliar the further she went. And soon she found herself at the foot of a great tree in the very heart of the forest. Mm, there, to her surprise, she found a tiny fairy falling to the ground. <laughs> oh no! You're not hurt, are you, Mr. Fairy? Without waiting for a reply, Astor bandaged the fairy with her handkerchief. I've never met anyone like you before, said the fairy. Oh, that's the fairy speaking. We should be friends! Same voice. I can't, I can't do very many voices. The fairy smiled at Aster and flew up into the clouds, far out of sight. But when Aster glanced down where the fairy had fallen, she found a mysterious pendant lying in the grass. Miss the fairy must have dropped this. What should I do? That night. Miss the fairy pendant. <laughs> Thank you for earlier, Miss Aster. Ah, who's there? Oh, our apologies. We didn't mean to frighten you. <gasps> it's the fairies! <laughs> Mr. Fairy! <sighs> we thank you for finding our pendant. If it's not too much trouble, would you please return it to us? But how? Yeah, how? <laughs> Just come back and get it! That pendant has a strange power in your world. If you're caught outside after the clock strikes six, your entire day will turn into a dream and everything you have done will be lost. I bet that's just, you know, because they couldn't... Game mechanics, you know, they probably couldn't make the game last past six o'clock because of game mechanics. And I don't know. <laughs> I'm just being cynical here. <laughs> Make sure that whatever you do, you get home every day before that happens. What, well, otherwise Mr. Reset is gonna pop out and chew me out, is he? He's giving me Animal Crossing vibes. <laughs> We're counting on you, Miss Aster. Wait! Mr. Fairy! <gasps> Mr. 
course the fairy's gone. The girl woke up the next morning, wondering what her strange dream meant. The fairies, was that for real? Oh! 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 Hey, it's me! A master! Oh, her room's a bit bare. Oh, it's quite cute! Look how cute this is! It's so cute! Oh, this must be mommy and daddy. Hi, mom! Hi, dad! Good morning, dear! You had a dream about the fairies last night? Oh, you always did love those stories, didn't you? Mom doesn't believe me! The magic rainbow arch. Ah, that's gonna crop up later, I bet. I bet it turns out all those stories from Mum were real. I'm just predicting the storyline now. You'll be late for school if you don't hurry. Ugh. I'm gonna leave without even saying good morning to Dad. <laughs> Right, which way's school? Maybe the squirrel knows. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Kenneth. Hey, they're probably waiting for you at school. I don't know where school is. Oh, keep heading west. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. Very helpful. What's this? West, school. Okay. North, market. Well, I'm not going to the market, I'm going to school. School! Aha! I found school! Yay! Oh, it looks just like the actual the actual building from the toy line. <clears throat> school! Yay! Ding dong. You had a dream about the fairies! Oh my goodness, so much dialogue. <laughs> they want you to bring that pendant back to them. Oh, and I thought I had some weird dreams. <laughs> you sure you didn't eat anything funny yesterday? <gasps> Good morning, class. Today's lesson will be phys ed. Oh boy, sports. Oh, do I get to play a mini game? Race against the other students on the hurdle course. Oh, cute! I get to play a mini game. As fast as you can. The faster you press, the faster you'll run. <laughs> When you reach a hurdle, press up on the d-pad to jump over it. Okay. Alright, I've got to button mash, basically. Oh. Oh no! Which is the right button? I don't know which the right button is! I can't find the button! The button's not working! I can't find the button. I found it, I found the button. Ugh, she's already way ahead of me. There's no way I'm gonna win. I fail. Oh no, she fell over! Oh, no, she fell over! I'm falling over, no! Oh my goodness. That was awful. <laughs> you lose, too bad. I couldn't find the button! I can't go on, I'll try again. But well, now that I know which button I'm pressing. I've got a different bunny. Ready, go! Go, Aster! Come on! Come on, Aster! No, come on! No, Aster! Come on! You're doing so well! You can do this, Aster! Aster! No, come on! Aster! No, 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 no! Ah, no, 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 no! Oh my God, that was so close! Oh, I lost again. Yeah, nah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's all for today. Class dismissed. Alright, now what do I do? Oh, okay, I'm in school. Oh, it's 12, 12 school finishes at 12.30, okay. Can, can I enroll in the school, please? <laughs> yeah, I'll save. Game saved. Hello. That was fun. Oh, you're the bunny that beat me. Dun, dun, da, da. There's a bridge to the west that makes music when you walk on it. Okay, um, I guess that's a, that's a hint to go check that out. School finishes at 12.30. Ugh. Um, this is the way to the bridge? Oh, hello. Hi there, looking for the school? 
Go back the other way. You can't miss it. No, I'm wanting to go on this musical bridge. Let me pass. School's finished. Ugh. School's finished, you meaner. What have I got to do? Do I have to go and talk to someone back in school? I mean, I guess. Oh, what's in here? It's just books. A club bookshelf. Okay. Well, then what have I got to do? Maybe I should just go home? Oh, what about the market? I saw a sign for the market earlier. Maybe I should go to the market. Items, okay. I've got a pendant, a watering can, and a photo album. Cool. Uh, hello, Miss Squirrel. Welcome. Uh, how do I grow flowers? If you want to grow flowers, you'll need to buy some seeds and drops. Well, you don't sell any? Well, this was a market. This was a market. You're not gonna sell me any seeds. Oh my goodness, she goes on and on and on. I get it. I'm sorry I asked. Let me go. Let me go. I'm sorry I asked. Oh, can I go? Look, see, Asta's already jogging on the spot. You can't wait to go. Let me go. <laughs> Oh. Be sure to take care of your flowers every day. Great. Oh, thank God we're done. Oh my God. What, what's, what's this? 3 p.m. Oh, what's 3 p.m. already? Okay. Well, maybe I should. Is it, is it? Should I go home? I don't know where I am. Where am I? Okay. Some of the shops here. Thank you for visiting Acorn Mountain. I'm on Acorn Mountain, apparently. Don't know how that happened. It's almost. What? What do you mean it's almost five o'clock? God, time goes fast in this world. Okay, I'm, all right, all right, I'm going home. I'm going home. stuck to that squirrel lady. She just yapped and yapped and yapped constantly. It's not my fault. She just wouldn't shut up. <laughs> right, what time is it? Alright, it's five o'clock. Time's running out. Yeah, I know. I'm almost home. It's okay. Look, I'm home. See? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's 5.20. Right, I'm home. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, dear. Did you have fun? Not really. <laughs> Welcome home. Alright, Mom, where's my dinner? I'm hungry. I just spent the last two hours talking to a squirrel lady about flowers. Oh. <laughs> suppose maybe I could just go to bed? Good night. The fairies are back! Good evening, Miss Aster. It looks like we forgot to tell you how to get to Fairyland. Yeah, you don't say! <laughs> the gates will open once you have obtained eight dream pieces. Okay. Not gonna tell me how to get these dream pieces? Okay! Okay! <laughs> Ugh, these fairies are so vague. Alright. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. But thank you so much for watching. And I will probably play this again sometime. See if I can collect all these dream pieces. So thank you guys so much. And bye-bye for now.